morning, man. So I'm currently at my grandma's house right now, man. In the shade, in the shade. Yeah. I'm back with another video, man. Another car video, man. Bro, I just want to say thank you to the 10 people that actually did watch my video, bro. Only 10 people and 3 likes. But you know, it, it ain't what I normally post, so I ain't going to get mad at it. But today's video, bro. Hold on, that should go over there. Yeah, you know, park over there. Whatever, whatever. But basically, bro, I'm going to explain, or try to explain, um, you feel me, like what, what it's going to take to put the system in there. I'm going to explain what I got, basically, unboxing. I showed y'all in the last video what I got, all I got, but I ain't unboxing. So, and I'm going to basically tell you what y'all need, man, if y'all trying to get a system installed that's uh, in y'all car. Um, if you want to keep the factory radio, I'll tell you what you need. I'm not an audio expert or nothing like that, bro, but I, I kind of know a little bit, so I'm going to try to explain to y'all, you feel me? Um, but we're going to go ahead in the next scene, bro, because you know iPhones, they don't switch cameras back and forth like they used to. But in the next scene, man, we will. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the stuff. I'm going to unbox it then. Uh, then we're going to basically talk about what you need. And basically, how much it's gonna cost basically to get everything put in. If you're looking for a cheap, let me, a cheap sound system, man. If you're looking for a cheap sound system. Say hey. Say hey to the gang. My little girl right there, man. Hey. Say hey. Huh? Don't get dirty. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, go over here and check this out. Put it out, out. See. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to record in and box in one hand, y'all. Y'all just be patient. All right, first, first of all, it's the most important thing we got here, man. It's an eight gauge wiring kit, man. So basically this kit has the fuse, the uh, RCAs, the power wire, the ground wire. And it basically tell you all you got right here on this little description. But, and then hardware included. So everybody knows that you need this, bro. This is the first thing you want to buy. And these, I think they got zero gauge, they got four gauge, they got eight gauge, eight gauge and then if I'm not mistaken, they do have a 16 one. Or I think that that might be for something else, but it depends on what kind of gauge you got, just because, but if you're running either zero or four gauge, um, you might need a, a backup battery to power that, that amp in the sub, just because if you ain't got a big alternator, you know what I'm saying? Or the big three that they call it, you're gonna basically drain your battery out and your system ain't gonna sound right because you ain't gonna be getting the full power that you need. So you're gonna need that first. I got an eight gauge just because I'm running on stock internals, stock alternator, stock battery, um, all that. So I don't need nothing too too crazy. Then here, bro, we got the kicker. And this is basically what they call the LOC. They got different kind of LOCs, but I always rock with the kicker one just because that's a known brand, bro. I think they got one that's the Skosh kicker. Um, and they got a other cheap brand out there, but this the LOC two. So I think on the LOC one or LOC, I don't think you can change like the channels and stuff, but on this one, I think you can. So, but this is basically what they call a line up output converter. Um, you're gonna need that to run, basically to tap into your factory system if you're keeping a factory head unit. So as everybody know, man, I got, hold on. So I do have, I do have a SCA system, but I do got the uh, factory SCA audio system. At, not SCA, I love SCA. Shaker, shaker, shaker system, system, shaker. And that's a pretty decent sound system to begin with. Um, I think it's sort of a premium package or whatever, but this, is, this car ain't a premium, but it did come with that, so. And it got the Bluetooth with it as well. Um, but if you keeping your factory head unit and your your car, whatever kind of car you got, you're gonna need this for sure. But if you're not, you don't, you ain't gonna need this. 
because if you have an aftermarket radio, you can just use the RCAs to plug into the back of radio, and then you can run that to straight directly to the amp. You know, you feel what I'm saying? But you're gonna need this right here to tap into the speakers and to tap into the factory head unit. So you're basically tapping into the speakers with this to get a signal to power the amp. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm saying that right. But uh, this is very important, and then of course this is very important. But this is the most important for real, because it, it depends on what kind of gauge you get, like I was saying. Don't don't get boss, bro. Whatever y'all don't I do not like boss, bro. They they wiring and all that, they amps is trash, bro. But don't get this neither, bro. It's like I'm saying, it's a cheap audio system, bro. It's cheap. So hold on. So this is the Planet Audio 1500 watt amp. Uh Anarchy. Supposedly 1500 watts, but it's not. I just know it's not. So we're gonna try to open this bad boy up real quick. Hold on. All right, yeah. So this is the Planet Audio amp. Uh, 1500 <laughs> watts, anarchy. And why I'm laughing, bro, because everybody know, and I know, if it ain't kicker, if it ain't scar, what's the other one? Um, WDX, I think, um, got amps. If it ain't those, those high end people, bro, everybody know amps like this, they rate it for way more than they ever gonna put out, way more. So 1,500 watts is more like 200 watts. You, you get what I'm saying? But look, man, we're going to try to break this down real quick. You know? It ain't much to this. So basically, this cable right here look like an old an old phone cord. Because that's basically what it is. It's to your base knob from the amp to the up to the front of the car. That's if you want to run the base knob. You don't have to. It's optional. And then you got your preset stuff. So you got your input controls, your sensitivity, your level, your bass boost, your mode for uh, then your low pass frequency. <laughs> and that's your your phone call right there. Protection, bro, you never want to see that. Nine times out of ten, you'd have blew it. And I'm probably gonna blow it up, so it, it doesn't even matter. I probably will see that in a few months. But this is something right now, for now. Then on this side, you got your your speaker um, inputs. So you got negative and positive speaker connections. Then you got your fuse, which is a 30 amp fuse, bro. And everybody know, <laughs> nine times out of 10, if you got one fuse, bro, you, you trash, you, you trash. Then you got your 12 volt power, cause you have to have 12 volts to run, to run any amp. Then you got your remote um, wire, that's gonna be from your power source to the amp to power the amp. And then you gotta have a ground for everything, so. Um, yeah, man, that's it for that amp right there, man. And then I got the base knob. I had the base knob somewhere. Oh, this is the base knob right here. But it ain't nothing much to the amp, man. It's just a little cheap. Playing the audio amp, supposedly 1500 watts. It's never gonna touch that. And it is uh, a mono block, so it will run uh, two ohms and one ohm. Uh, but at, on the MTS Terminators I got, they run two ohms. So I think for at two ohms, this amp is rated for, I, I don't know, I think, I don't know, bro. I, I'm not sure. But, let's see, let's pop this trunk real quick, y'all. And these are the subs that I got, but y'all already seen them in the last video. For the 10 of y'all that did watch it. Um, these are 1200 watts, uh, peak power, and I think 800 watts MRS, M <laughs> RMS, RMS, 800 watts in Tom Tide here. But these subs, they've been cheap since the day they came out from way back in the day. They, they got a good name for being some, hey, they hit though. Like when you get them hooked up right, they hit. Don't, don't sleep. Don't sleep on them. But, uh, man, yeah. But at the end of the video, like I said, man, I'm gonna put the total cost. I might just, when I show y'all each piece, I might just add it up. And then at the end of the video, it'll be uh, the total cost, so. But y'all, y'all rock with this video, man. And yes, I still do got Easter stuff back there that's gonna, I just gotta throw out, so. So it's different kind of, you know, systems that come with different kind of cars. I know Mustang got the shaker. I don't know what exact brand those speakers is, you know what I'm saying?
but and I know Dodge, they got the beats by Dr. Dre. And uh, you know, it's a lot of high high end systems out there, bro. But uh yeah man, we gon' my grandma name over there, but we gonna get probably get this installed um next probably next week man and then we're gonna i'm gonna let y'all hit us up uh hear how it sound um and then i think at the end of this video bro i'm gonna give y'all a total cost breakdown of what i paid for for everything plus the subs but i already had the subs but i add that in on the total cost so y'all can know how much y'all will be looking at for a cheap system just to get you some thump in your trunk man you know what i'm saying but it's your boy d food man let me go ahead and get more than 10, 10, vid, 10, uh, 10 watches on this video, man. I'm going to edit it, you know, chop all the parts out. Because I done, I done yelled at my daughter a few times in the video, man. I want that to be, you know, my image. You know what I'm saying? But it's 197. It's your boy D. 3.7 D. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Y'all comment down below, man. Y'all like this video, man. I'm trying to do something different. I always love cars, man. And the car content is what I want to create now. I'm also going to be doing reactions still, but we're going to mix a little car content in there. So, but I'll see y'all uh, I'll see y'all next week, man. And we're going to get this thing, we're going to get this little, this little trunk pumping and pumping in the minute, man. You know what I'm saying?